I quit playing Terra back in like September. I couldn't take no more of that shit, man. And people was like, people was jumping from MMO to MMO during that time as well. There was a lot of people quitting. A lot of people were like, shit, I'm out. And I was like, fuck, where am I gonna go? Because I didn't purchase Black Desert Online because I was like, fuck, the pay to win over there is real. But it's not only that, I mean, they got forced PvP. And then to stay relevant, you gotta, like, spend real cash and shit like that. And I was like, I ain't with it. After I played the Black Desert Online beta that I was overhyped for for PlayStation, I quickly found out it wasn't gonna be a game for me. I even made a video talking about I'm not buying Black Desert Online and that I was overhyped for it. Luckily, I didn't receive no type of backlash for that because, you know, some people feel so strong about a game, they're ready to fucking pounce. But since I didn't purchase Black Desert Online, the only place I could go after Quentin Terror was like back on to Destiny. And, that, and at that time, Destiny 2 Shadow Keep was just releasing so i had that to play for a minute until i got enough money and was like all right now it's time to make the big move over to another mmo and i'm gonna have to spend money on this mmo and that's final fantasy 14. when i go got over to final fantasy 14 man it was um very interesting first and for first thing that i noticed was the community was very very fucking quiet and i played it for weeks you know, I picked up from where I left off because I had already had a level 50 um, character. And then once I got the expansion, the Shadowbringers expansion, everything else opened up for me. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, shit's opening up. So I started playing. I was like, yo, this community, they're really, really quiet. What the fuck's going on? So I had to investigate. I started, like, investigating on why, like, no one talked in general chat. Because I'm used, I was used to the abuse, you know, I was used to that roughness, I was used to the raunchy um, shit that I would read in global chat from Terra, I was used to that, you know, I was used to people talking about, like, uh, fingering themselves and just some awful shit, you know, it was like a dude that did it for three weeks, he talked about how he wanted to bang his sister for three weeks straight, three weeks on Terra in global chat and I was like what the fuck why doesn't anybody like ban this dude like I'm pretty sure he got a lot of reports on him but nobody did anything let this man do this for three weeks he finally stopped and stuff like that but it was insane but yeah like like Final Fantasy 14 was just so quiet I had to investigate and then after investigating I found that there was like 750,000 different ways people was talking to each other on there they had link shells of course they have like little private chests like um like how we have whisper on terra they have like fucking uh private tales on final fantasy and then they also have their um was it discord chat and shit like that and they have free company chat so there's like 380 million different ways to chat with each other that's why really no one talked in general chat and I was like huh but then I also found some more darker shit and I found that like the community was controlled by snowflakes because all it takes is for a snowflake to report somebody and that'll basically end that person's time on Final Fantasy 14 <laughs> like I was like whoa that's that's wild I found the whole snowflake thing funny because there was no such thing as snowflakes on any other MMO that I had played on PlayStation 4. Like, I come from some of the worst of the worst MMOs. Like, fucking Pay to Win Universe Online, and Trash Forge, aka Sky Forge. You know, that community over there is pretty fucked up too. But, like, nothing was touching Terra's community. Because there is no such thing as being a snowflake in Terra. If you was being a snowflake in global chat, um, you was getting eaten alive. I mean, you was just... They was eating that ass. They was all up in that ass. Like, they was eating the booty like groceries, bro. And I could say one thing for a fact is that a lot of people who only know about Final Fantasy XIV, which is revered as, like, Care Bear Nation to a lot of people who play other MMOs, 
if people who only play Final Fantasy 14 was to go over to any of those other MMOs like Terra, they would get eaten alive and be dragging themselves back to Final Fantasy 14 quick, fast, in a hurry. They wouldn't survive that community. And I can attest for that. They wouldn't they wouldn't survive it. Some people actually did leave those types of MMOs with horrible communities and seek asylum in Final Fantasy 14 because they knew that things over there is locked down. I mean, of course, you pay a subscription, so they they better pay moderators to do, you know, to do what they're supposed to do. I think that's the only reason why mods do shit in Final Fantasy 14 is because players are paying a sub. It's not like free-to-play MMOs. Shit, free-to-play MMOs, moderators probably walking around in-game and just ignore whatever it is going on with the community. And it's like, what? Why are you why are you even a moderator? Like what the fuck? Like why did they make you a moderator? Why did they partner with you? Like I just don't understand it. Shit blows my mind, you know? Holy fuck.